Hello, today I will be introducing you to the biomolecule PROTAX. PROTAX is an acronym that stands for Proteolysis Targeting Chimeras. These are small, small biomolecules that have the ability to target and remove unwanted proteins. These proteins may be misfolded or dangerous to human health and therefore need to be removed from the cell. The first topic to cover is protag composition. These small bi biomolecules have two distinct active domains covalently bound by a linker. The first head drawn represents the ligand that selectively binds to the target protein. On the opposite side of the molecule, another head exists which is capable of engaging with an E3 ubiquitin ligase. The protag molecule's target protein binding head locates and acts on the target protein surface or within shallow cavities with sufficient affinity to induce protein degradation. Next, a E3 ligase is recruited to the opposing active domain at the protac. An E2 ligase with ubiquitin is also a part of the tertiary complex. Once attached, the target protein is ubiquinated and the E2 ligase dissociates from the tertiary complex. Following the dissociation, an empty void is filled with another E2 ubiquitin ligase. A similar process ensues where the target protein is once again ubiquinated and the E2 ligase dissociates. After the target protein is effectively tagged through a chain of ubiquitin molecules, the E3 ligase is able to dissociate from the protax as protax simultaneously dissociates itself from the target protein. Protax is now available to perform another cycle on a specific target protein. The ubiquitin chain attracts a proteasome which is the cellular site where proteolysis occurs. The target protein is fed through the proteasome, breaking down the larger protein's peptide bonds and separating it into several small amino acid sequences. However, we might ask ourselves, what is this really used for? Well, just over 50% of deaths worldwide are attributed to disease. Therefore, this technology is currently being used in novel drug development, retooling ineffective inhibitor molecules as Protax. Also, Protax exhibit the ability to be highly specified and applied to various diseases such as cancers, viruses, immune disorders, and neurogenitive diseases. This presentation was done for the Chem Biofilm Festival through Dr. Childer's biochem class at the University of Pittsburgh. Visuals and audios done by Colin Mahalik.